Hey everyone, today I'm going to do my haul for the month of February. If you've been following me for a little while, um, you know I've had on my list a white tank top. I still probably want another one, but I got rid of one of my white tank tops that I had because it just didn't look right anymore. It was dingy, the coloring was just bad, it was pilling, it was old. So, anyway, I got these from the thrift store. Let me see. This first one is from American Eagle, and this was $2, and it's an extra small, but it fits me pretty well. It's not too small or anything, and it's just a peplum top, and it has, like, this embroidery lace on the front, and I wear a tank top underneath this, so you don't see um, my bra or anything. And I've worn this to work once. Then I got this from a thrift store as well, and this was $6, but I really liked it. It's by the brand Emma and Sam. It's just this white, slightly cropped tank. It's not too cropped on me, so I can still wear it to work. Of course, I'm wearing undershirt because it is slightly see-through, but I really like the strap detailing. It's like little flowers on there. You guys can see that. And it's really cute. And it goes like that in the back. So it'll be cute for work. And I can also wear this for like with shorts or uh, jeans for the summer slash spring. One of the more expensive things I bought this month was actually from the thrift store. Yeah, these are brand new from the thrift store, so they were $13. I wore them twice. They fit me very well. They're pink, um, by Victoria's Secret leggings. They're like this slightly shiny material, and these are a size small. And I like it because it's a higher rise. It's got a tight-fitting waistband, and it fits me very well. I bought these candles from my work, Kohl's. Um, and I bought them because they are soy candles, normal candles use beeswax, to my knowledge. All regular wax candles use beeswax. But um, this is a soy candle, so it does not use animal ingredients. Um, I don't know too much about it, but it's our like, general brand. It's called Everyday Memories. I have I had one from Christmas I used up in their little mason jar. They have it this style, which is a 17 ounce. The mason jar is 12 ounces, and they're both $5.99. So why buy the smaller one? Unless you really like the mason jar and you want to use it. I ended up buying two of these because I really like the smell. It's called Tea Spray, and it reminds me of, what was the thing? Oh, I used to get a Yankee Candle every year, but Yankee Candle is, um, I don't think they have any soy candles, but I haven't been in there in a very long time. But I used to get from Yankee Candle, it's a scent called Beach Towel, and it comes out during the summer, and this smells just like it. It smells like, kind of like a men's cologne. It smells so good. And I ended up buying two of these, and they were about... Three fifty each with my coupons. I have lipstick on them. I really like it. Anyway, they had other scents, but I do have a lot of candles that I have to use, and um, I didn't like. I always get like a generic vanilla, and I really don't need any more vanilla candles. And then I have um, they had like fruity ones, but I already have some. I bought at Target a few months ago, but I like this one. It was a good price. Next thing I got a Kohl's is one pair of socks. These were about 80 cents actually with my discount high socks. And I have a few pairs of knee high socks, but these are like fairly thick. So if I'm ever cold, which I haven't worn them yet because there hasn't been really any cold days since I bought them. That's why they're on clearance because it's almost spring. But I like them. I like the color. And I'm proud of myself because I was ready to buy all four colors and I didn't. So I ended up just getting this one pair and I will most likely use it next winter though. That's that. I usually don't buy jeans anymore because I don't really need any more jeans. But when Rock and Republic jeans are on clearance, I do purchase them just because they are my favorite brand and they fit me the best. And they're the only ones that don't like slide down too much during the day and fit my like hips and thighs well. So let me button these up. These actually are the best fitting of all my Rock and Republic jeans that I own. Um, I had no issues all day. Sometimes they slide down a little bit, but this pair did not at all. I get them on a size 6. Uh, I have one pair, I think, in a 4. But I, for now, those are older, so my current ones are all size 6. The 4 still fits me. I think their sizing changed a little bit. Bellas. And these are the Berlin, which I think is the style. I don't know if that's the style or the color, but these are the Berlin. Next, I'm going to go into my beauty slash makeup purchases for this month. I got a, another moisturizer to try. I've been buying the Alba moisturizer, which I've shown in one video. I've only used it 
only that one. I haven't bought the second one yet. The Alba Hawaiian Oil Free Moisturizer Refining Aloe and Green Tea. And this one's three ounces the size. And it's go it's uh, fifteen dollars and change at Target. I do think it's worth the price, but I figured I'd try the Elf Moisturizing. Um, Elf Daily Hydration Moisturizer. All of Elf's products are vegan. It says so on their website. Even their um, even their skincare line is vegan as well. So, but Alba's uh, skincare line is vegan too. So, but I wanted to try one that was a little less money. This was only eight dollars, and it's two point five three ounces instead of three. So it's a little bit less. Um, a little bit less product but not too much like where it would be a big difference I haven't tried it yet I'm just gonna open it to show you guys the bottle because I don't want to open it open it until um I actually am ready to use it wow this actually looks pretty big oh that's pretty cool it's just like a regular squirt tube but it has like oh I don't know how to take this off but I'd have to take this off but um it has like a little squirt tube on I mean it has like a little pump on it there we go it has a little pump on it it's really nice actually i haven't opened it yet this one's great for contour and this is i've been trying to use my contour stuff up so i wanted a good contour brush to use with it and this actually i've been using for highlight too and it works pretty well um but once i'm done with my uh what is it what do i have my um hula bronzer that i have i'm trying to use up i'm only going to use this probably for highlight because i like the line that it gives it's very dirty because i have to wash these Anyway, this, so this is from like their newest line, and this is the Elf Beautifully Precise Precision Sculpting Brush, and this is the packaging. This is the $10 brushes, and they have like a clear handle, you guys can see, and you guys can see the tip of this. It's a very nice brush. It works very well. And then the other one I got was a $6 brush, and this is the Ultimate Blending Brush. And I've been using this to blend out, like, my, um, blush, which is very dark today. And then Blending Brush. I believe this is just their regular, like, studio brush line, which increased to $4, but some are 6 This is what the top looks like. Again, it's dirty, I'm sorry. It's a very nice brush, though. It's good for blending. Um, I have another blending brush from e.l.f., but I like this because it's denser it's also good for contour blending as well and the last item i bought this month was twelve dollars and i got it from poshmark i didn't realize how small this was until it came in and because i've never seen it in person i've only saw it online because um my target still does not carry pacifica makeup so it looks like this like i said bought on poshmark it's twelve dollars and i've been wanting to try the pacifica um uh, palettes. I have a Pacifica, I had a quad from Pacifica that I deposited and put in my Z palette, but I think it's good. Um, I'm going to give you guys quick swatches. Um, I've only used it once because I'm doing a project pan. I'm trying to use up my stuff for my project pan, but I'll do swatches for you guys. I've used it once and I liked it, so... And if you're curious, Pacifica is 100% vegan. Okay, I did some quick swatches. I put it on a hand where you can't see. Here you go. I shouldn't have put it where I put it. Hope you guys can see that. Um, some of the lighter colors don't show up well on my skin because I'm pale. Um, but I like that it has a good variety of mattes and shimmers. I also like that it has a few pops of color and there's a like olivey green, um, which comes up a little more gray. There's the navy, which would be great for deepening in the crease. There's the blue color and there's like this brighter, like pink. It's not really that bright though. Um, but I like the variety in this palette and it's not something that I already have and because I got rid of a lot of my makeup and I'm trying to pan a lot of my makeup that's not cruelty free I wanted to have a vegan and cruelty free option in my collection for when I go 100% vegan cruelty free with my makeup 
which I'm working on right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the differences between my hauls as I'm slowly becoming more of a minimalist. I'm not a real like a minimalist, but I'm trying to live more intentionally and not buy for just the sake of buying. And it's hard coming from being a shopaholic to trying to live this way and it's been a long time I've been trying to do this a few years now if you go back I have a video um, called confessions of a shopaholic and that was me finally admitting that I have a shopping problem on camera so that was a long time ago I think it was about two or three years ago I don't know but if you guys want to see it it is on my channel so that's it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time Hey everyone, today I'm going to finish my collective haul for the month of February. I bought a few more things because so I've been going thrifting recently to find merchandise to resell, but I do buy some stuff for myself as I thrift. So I have a few items from there. I have one more item from Kohl's and three items from TJ Maxx. Um, two of the items are like not beauty related or clothing related at all, but I'm going to show you guys because they're really cute. But anyway, we'll go on to it. Okay, so I'll show you. The pants I got a cold. These pants for six dollars. I got them in size four. I have them in khaki already, but I bought them in this green color because I have a pair of like olive green pants. They're a little bit darker than this by Juicy Couture, and they are almost ready to be <laughs> thrown away. Um, I probably will still donate them, but they're kind of they keep um, stretching out way too much, and also there's like a little stain on the front. So, and I don't really quite like that material, so I'm replacing them with this. Um, as soon as I find out these are like super comfortable because they do have the khaki but sometimes different colors wear differently. So this right here is my new makeup case. Um, ignore my mess but on top I have, I had that makeup holder for a while. It's actually the divider from a um, art box I had. Um, I still have it but I don't use the divider so I put it for my brushes. I have a few more brushes. So I don't have as much surface space on top because my other one was like deeper. Like if you look to the side it took up like this whole area here. I have it turned because I do my makeup on my desk but it took up almost twice the amount of space. But I was able to fit my whole makeup collection in here minus my Project Pan palettes which are in here. And then I, in my drawer over there I have my um the rest of my palettes plus my lipsticks but the, everything else fits in here I'll give you guys a quick overview but I play to downsize my collection more and this is helping me to do so because it's motivating me to not buy anything which I don't know how well it's gonna work but anyway I have like my eye products in here and can, some concealers and more in here it's I mean it's small it's not huge it was twenty dollars which I think is a good price I've seen these for so expensive. Anyway, so I got that from Home Goods. It was twenty dollars, and I previously wanted to get one um, that I bought for twenty dollars, and it was only like a little three drawer one, and it was much smaller than that, and I wasn't even able to fit my foundation because it wasn't tall enough. So I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? So I ended up returning that one. But I really like this, and I hope to be able to keep my makeup collection small enough to fit in that, and then my little acrylic holder that I have in my palettes in, because I do like that holder as well. Um, and it's great for if you have a drawer. This bowl, I already cleaned it, so I took off the price, I think, what did I, did I write it down? Um, the dish was $4, and I thought this would be great for like soup, or for rice, or for ice cream. And I, I controlled myself, because I was ready to buy at least two, so they match. But I realized I don't really need that many, but I really like this, and it's a really nice bowl. And it has little rabbits all over it. And the inside is blue with a little rabbit. It's really cute. Next, I saw this, and I was holding it like this. And my boyfriend's like, what's that? I'm like, I want it. I have to have it. I'm like, I can't spend the money, but I have to have it. And it was $16.99, which is really kind of pricey. But um, it's very cute. It looks like this. And I won't let go of it. And my boyfriend's like, okay, I'll get that for you. So he bought it for me <laughs> because I really liked it. So he bought it for me because I really liked it. And I have it on my nightstand in my room because, I don't know, I like it. It makes me laugh and it makes me happy. It's, you know, <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so weird, I know. 
I have a lot of like rabbit statues and stuff that don't really bring any joy for me that I'm eventually going to get rid of when I move again but this one brings me joy and I really like it. At the thrift store I got this plaid shirt. This one's the only one that's clean. The rest of them aren't on hangers because I didn't clean them yet. I got this plaid shirt. It's actually not plaid. It's a window pane print and I've been wanting this exact shirt pretty much for like a year because I bought one from Kohl's in the burgundy and we had it in black too but we didn't have my size and it was already on clearance so it wasn't available online or anything and I wanted it so bad so I went, as soon as I saw it at the thrift store I thought it was from one from Kohl's but it's actually from Target same print and everything um it's a medium it does fit me pretty well the arms are short I have issues with the arms um and it could have been shrunk I don't know because I'm usually small in women's but anyway it's only three dollars and I really enjoy it. I haven't worn it yet, but I've been wanting one like this on like a daily basis to work. And I put like a little tank top underneath, um, just because my work is very casual, but not like I can't just go in with a tank top or a t-shirt on. So I wear like a little tank top, like not this obviously because it's graphic, but I wear like plain tank top, like something a little nice, and then I wear that over it with my black work pants. My black work pants are dressier, so. Okay, so I have a bunch of shirts from the thrift store. Some are from Goodwill, some are from another thrift store. Um, I don't know how many there are at this thrift store, so I don't want to say the name, but I go to multiple different thrift stores. My favorite is the one that's not Goodwill um, because I don't really find that much at the um, Goodwill, but this isn't from Goodwill. This is from another thrift store. This is by the brand Happening in the Press, and I don't know who sells this. I think it's Macy's or Sears or something. I don't know. Nor do I know the size because the size is cut out. But this was four dollars, and I had to have it. One, it's long. I can wear it with leggings. Two, I had to get rid of one of my wolf, wolf shirts because it shrunk. Um, and then I have one more shirt with the wolf on it, but it's getting really old and dingy because I've had it for like four years. And then, so I got this one. I'm not throwing it away yet, but because it's white and I don't really have that many white tanks that are graphic. But I have this now, it's, and it has a moon and a little, little wolf howling at the moon. It's very sheer. I mean, it's very thin, so it's kind of sheer, but because it's black, I just wear a black bra and it's fine. This is perfect for all seasons for me because I can wear this with leggings and boots and throw on a little jacket or a cardigan or in the summer I can wear this with shorts and sandals and it's perfectly fine and this is my style I'm very calm with my clothes I'm not I'm super casual I like what I like and I like graphic tees as you can see and when I'm not working I'm in like shorts or jeans and graphic tees and that's it so that's what I buy and the two things I got from Goodwill I got them yesterday, actually. This is by the brand One Clothing, the size medium. I don't know who sells One Clothing. I think I've seen it at like TJ Maxx or Ross or something. Um, but I like the thing, what it said. It says, stay positive. What's it say? Stay positive, be happy, live free. I really like stuff like this. It's just a gray tank. It's a little big, but it's okay. Again, this is something I wear on a regular basis. So let's make my eyes water. This stuff needs to be washed. And last, I've been looking for a tank top this color for like a year, um, well since before then, but I got rid of, I got rid of my sew tank top that was this color like a year ago because it was so bad, like it was so pilled, the color was almost gone. This was only $2 and I was trying to, been, been trying to replace that shirt, but I couldn't find the right shade of pink. I finally found it. This is the color that works for me. It's a little bit big, but what I do, because um, my other one was a little big too, um, except with the other one, it was so low in the back. I had to be careful what bras I wore. But um, this one, the gap, the medium, so it's a tiny bit big. It's got a little pocket in the front here. There was a little bit of fading on one spot, like someone tried to wipe out a stain, but I don't care. I'm so happy because I got this color again. Um, I don't want anything colorful, but this is like something I would wear. Um, like I said, I tried it on and I tied up the front and it looks so cute with the shorts. I was, I was actually, it didn't look cute with the shorts I was wearing because they were all green, but it would look so cute with shorts and I'm so excited to wear this for the summer and I'm happy to have it back because I loved that tank top and I only got rid of it because I had to and not because I wanted to. 
anyway that's it thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this if you did give a thumbs up please subscribe so you can see more videos from me that's it thank you guys for watching see you later